Hi guys, Squirrel here, back with some The Hunter. Uh, now, I've been playing around this game, I've been trying to learn it, it's actually quite an interesting game. And every now and again, something like this happens. So here I am, I'm kind of tracking a particular animal. Uh, tracking an elk, I think it was. And you know, I'm carefully crouch walking, and then all of a sudden, did you see that to the right? I basically walk right into the animal. <laughs> and it runs away. It's so annoying. Anyway. Okay, so here we are. Right, now in this particular clip, I'm going to be hunting a uh, feral pig. Now, feral pig, I'm, I'm on a, um, a map. Basically, the hunter has um, the game itself is, is free to play. But as I've explained before, you have to kind of either buy a license to shoot a particular animal or you buy a membership you can buy like i think day memberships seven day memberships and all the way up to six months all that kind of stuff and then you can buy hunting equipment weapons that kind of thing what i've got in my hand though is a, a feral hog caller uh, it's actually called a um a hog a squeal caller or something like that it basically replicates the sound of the animal and they're attracted to it so like i say it i kind of see this game like a fishing game in a way it's so it's it's not too dissimilar to playing something like fishing planet where you know you need to have the right equipment you need to go to the right places the right kind of time of day and then you need to you know know what you're doing in order to get the animal that you're after uh so it's kind of like doing the fishing game and I, i'm quite getting into it it's a bit of a learning curve but anyway weapons wise i've got a 300 bolt action rifle which is a very quite a powerful gun actually, and it's good for killing feral hog and um, black bear. We may come across a black bear because there are bear in this area, and they do attack you. I've also got a 223 bolt action, which is a, a less powerful one, but it's very very accurate, and that's perfect for shooting things like deer and turkey. I think I've explained before what I've got here is like a tracking device that you get with the game, and I'm basically following uh, the tracks of the feral. And I'm trying to call it as well, so I'm trying to attract it to come to me uh, whilst crouch walking. You can see bottom right there, it shows you your sort of position that you're in, whether you're walking, crouching. You can kind of run, jog, but you make a lot of noise if you do. You can walk slowly, makes a lot less noise. You can crouch, makes even less noise, and you can go prone completely while you're shooting. You can also hold your breath when you, you're, you're uh, firing. All that's built into the game. Anyway... It's, ba it's basically built into different settlements, so loads of, new set loads of settlements in the Hunter. And the one I'm in is called Settler Creek. Uh, and Settler Creek has got things like, well, the feral hog, uh, the black bear. It's also got Roosevelt elk. Uh, it's got the cottontail rabbit, turkeys, and deer. So we may come across any of these animals, but I'm kind of trying to get hold of a feral hog. That's what I've gone out for today. Uh, secondary, I'd like to get an elk if possible. When you see the marks on the ground, uh, the, if you look at those marks there, they're kind of short marks. That means there's a, there's a trail there, uh, but it's not the one that you're currently tracking. If it's kind of like a big red ball, that's the trail of the thing that you're currently tracking. Uh, so we could go over there and see what that is, but it would, it, you know, pick, it would reset our current tracking. Uh, and I don't want to do that because I want to get the feral pig. Sorry, the feral hog. I'm going to keep calling it a pig. It's not a pig. It's a hog. So right now, I'm kind of working out how far I am away from it. The problem is, is if you look look at the um, the tracking device, there's little X's which show your um, the tracking points that you've had. So you can get a feel for, you know, where the animal is heading and also maybe how quickly it's heading. Uh, I'm so conscious, as you saw at the start of the video, I'm so conscious of of tracking an animal and then just walking right into it. You know, because I've got like full ghillie suit camo on, although admittedly... Admittedly, I've got um, like an autumn camo, and currently the game, as you can see, is pretty sunny. Uh, but, it, but it works pretty well. You know, once you against certain animals, you're more or less invisible. I think Black Bear can see you, though. Right, so that gives me like a triangle and says, within that wedge there, 
the animal has gone that way and you can see he's gone through the water so I'm kind of thinking right now well he could be on the other side of this water he's clearly gone through it but for all I know he could be on that on that ridge over there and I can hear footsteps That's the sound of an animal. Uh, that sounded like an elk, I think. So we could ID that, but like it would reset and focus in on the sound of where that came from, and we could head towards that direction. But yeah, this is this is the hog. This is one one. Part of the beauty of this game, I think, is uh, you do need a lot of patience. Like, there's no doubt about that. It, like I say, it is. In a way, it's like land-based fishing. Uh, you do need patience because you can't just go running around the countryside and hoping to just, you know, hip shot some animal that you're after. You really do have to track it. And the animals I've noticed um, that they do move around and they sort of... Is there something on the ridge here? It could be a rabbit. If one starts to flee, like, if, if you spook an animal and it runs off, it will quite often spook some others nearby. Particularly if they're in a big group, they'll all just run away, and then, you know, you're starting again. You've got to then pick up a trail somewhere else. When you look at the tracking, it will tell you what they're doing. As it says, like, roaming. It'll say roaming, fleeing. Uh, it could say some other things, I can't remember now. But if it's roaming, it means it's just kind of walking around. If it's fleeing, then it's doing literally that. It's running away. At which point you can go into run mode because it's running, you're running, it doesn't matter. At some point it will stop fleeing and it will start roaming again. At that point you can slow down and start picking up the trail again. Obviously the animals move at different speeds so if I'm crouch walking at this speed I have to try and work out how fast is the animal going because if I'm crouch walking at this speed and he's walking quicker I'm not actually going to gain ground until he stops. And I think the, the way the animals move is, is different and I'm... I'm certainly no expert on the animals. I know that the deers do, you know, they do tend to stop and stand around and look quite a bit. But the feral hog, I have no idea. He might just keep roaming for all I know. And there's that sort of elk again. Do you notice like the barbed wire fences? There's like a break in them there. I think you have to walk through the breaks. I'm not sure. But there's certainly, you can see the, the, the footprint marks on the floor. So when you look at the footprints, you can kind of tell what animal it is just by looking at the print. Uh, you can obviously recognize, you kind of learn to recognize these things, but you know what a deer looks like, uh, what a, a, a bear looks like, although I've not seen a bear print yet. Uh, and then obviously what a hog looks like. You can also choose the time of day that you play. So at the moment, so I, start, I think I started like 8 a.m., and time goes twice as fast as real life. So uh, a 48-hour day in the game is equivalent to 24 hours in real time. So, you know, the days do last and the nights do last quite a long time. Most people tend to hunt in the day, though, for obvious reasons. Uh, you can play multiplayer in this game. You can even join with your friends and stuff. Uh, you can join servers online. All that exists. Uh, I'm just in a single-player game at the moment. Because uh, most people I don't know don't actually have this game, so I'm just playing single player. But, you know, if you if you want to play with your friends, you can go hunting with your friends. Like, one can spot with his binoculars and you can be in scoped in. I mean, it could be quite cool, actually. Now, you've seen me play this game many moons ago. I played it with Devil Dog and we were shooting, you know, duck and pheasants out the sky and all that kind of thing. It's actually really good fun. Now, at the moment, I don't really feel like I'm, I'm sort of catching up on this guy. But... I'm remaining frosty, you know, because if I am catching up on him, for all I know, he could be in them trees. And if you spend like 15 minutes carefully tracking an animal, the last thing you want to do is just blow it all and blunder right in there. But you can see the shadow on the ground, the ghillie suit. They uh, they had a sail on, so I bought some uh, I bought a ghillie outfit in the sail. They have these little flash sails for equipment and stuff. So you can get tents in the game. Uh, what a tent does is it, it's like a, a place that you can deploy on the map and then you can fast track straight to it. Uh, you can fast track to any of the lodges, but there's only like two or three lodges on a map. And if you happen to find a good area for, um, for hunting, you might want to put a tent nearby. 
Look at that. Look what just walked into me. Now, I took this shot and I, you know, this is a high powered rifle. And I genuinely thought, you see the blood on the floor, I genuinely thought that he was just going to drop. But, oh my life, was I in for a big shock. <laughs> now, I don't know if it's because of where I hit the hog. Uh, when you saw me aim, though, I, I'm... You don't go for headshots, okay? So that's that's needs to be said straight away. You do not go for headshots. Uh, what you're aiming for when you're hunting is... You're aiming for a, the quickest kill that you can get. Alright? You're aiming for instant death, if possible. But you're not aiming for a headshot because... You also want to kind of get trophy points for the condition that the animal is in. So if you put a massive hole through its face, it's not really going to make a good trophy. Uh, so what you need to do is try and hit it, you know, ideally through a critical organ like the heart or something. That'll instant kill it. Unfortunately, if you hit it in a bad place, like, you know, in the stomach or something, then the animal's going to suffer and it's going to you know, take a long time to die, which is what you don't want, which is why... I was aiming for the sort of chest area. However, what I don't didn't realise until I looked up later is the hog's heart is actually quite low down on its body. So you almost have to learn a bit of anatomy as well. So you need to go, all right, so this is a hog. I know roughly where its heart is. I'm going to aim for that. But I didn't realise where its heart was. I just thought, thought it would be in its chest area, but it's kind of down a bit towards its stomach. Anyway, you'll see it on the, um, on the kill diagram at the end. You'll see um, what I wounded. But I was basically tracking this thing down for a while uh, before I eventually found it. it. It ran a long way. It was like alive for something like two and a half minutes. But look at it. It just ran everywhere. I thought to myself, is this actually bleeding out? Because I was expecting it to say bleeding rather than fleeing. But you can tell by the blood on the ground that it's definitely bleeding out. But I thought if I lose... Um, if I lose the trail, the problem is if you lose a trail and you don't actually get to the body, then it doesn't count as a kill. You have to physically sort of scan the body for it to count as a kill. It then sends that back to the server and that goes against your account, so it's all kind of server-based. I have to say, though, the graphics in this game are pretty cool. I mean, the, the vegetation is uh, it's superb. It really is. Like, the draw distance is... I think the draw distance is getting bigger over time. That's one thing you can watch, you know, because obviously zoom a scope in, like, right across the map. You know, you're going to be out, out of draw distance. You're not going to see things, which is a bit of a shame, really, because, you know, real life, you could potentially see something you're know, very far away. But in this, I don't know. I don't know what the draw distance is right now. I'll need to find out. All right, so we're kind of homing in on it now. You can see this uh, hoof prints in the floor. And then a bit more blood. So we know we're on the... We're not tracking a different feral. We're tracking the one that we shot. And then finally... Just over, over here... You notice there's another trail there. So there's some other animal was nearby. This thing come running through. It probably fleed. But yeah, finally, I kind of hone in on this thing. And this is my very first feral hog kill. So I've never, I never got one before. I've never even seen one before. But there it is. At this point, I'm kind of wondering, is this thing dead? Because its its head is stuck up vertically. I mean, it, it seems to have got jammed in something. So I wondered if it was dead or not, but it let me scan it. And you can see where I killed it now. But you can see where the heart is, just to the front, though. Uh, two and a half minutes uh, to die, which is, is pretty horrendous, to be fair. You know, you don't want to get anything like that, really. But uh, I got a decent score. There's zero, like, harvest value is zero. I'm not 100% sure how that works. It does give you a kind of a tooltip about that, but... The next thing you need to do, or you can do, you take a trophy shot if you want, so I kind of... You can pick the body up. <laughs> You can move yourself around. You can also pick up the body and get yourself in a position to get take a photo. Uh, unfortunately, he kind of died in a fairly shaded spot. So I was trying to move him around a bit just so I can get a uh, some sunlight on the photo. But uh, you can pick up every part of the body's you know, limb. <laughs> just 
put it in any position you want, really. Like, like this, watch this. You kind of pick up the head of my... Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Like that. And then if you press the space key, it kind of locks it in position. And then you can take your photo. Accept. So that's that. That basically puts that into your, into your album. Your, your kind of photographic album so that you can show off your elite skills and all that kind of thing. Uh, then the body just disappears. And then you, you pick up a hunt somewhere else. And uh, that's essentially how the game works. Now, you know, you can focus... Like, each animal you have a certain level with. So um, if you start to hunt, say, elk... Uh, you'll be on level one. And then as you sort of pick up the trails of them and maybe even kill one, you'll move up to level two uh, and then so on. Now, when you level up, it seems to unlock certain things about the animal. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of still a bit learning on this stuff. But, for example, I was hunting elk and I noticed that I saw a lot of female elk. And when I saw a male elk, which is one with the, the massive antlers, um, it said you have to be level 3 with the elk to, to shoot it. So it wouldn't let me shoot it. Because I need to kill some more female elk before I can choose a male elk. Now what I'm doing here is I'm kind of working out where I want to go. You can see my, my trail from the lodge there. You can see where I went. Uh, and I'm wondering where they are. I think they're over here where I'm pointing my mouse. What you can do is put down a dot on the, on the map like that. And then that dot basically shows up inside your little scanner. And you can head towards that dot. So in this clip, I, I kind of wandered around after I'd killed the hog. I was wandering around thinking, all right, what should we go for here? Should we go for another hog or should we just see what happens? And then I hear the noise of a Roosevelt elk. So I think to myself, all right, I've not actually hunted an elk before. Um, so let's go and find one of those things because the antlers on the male elk are massive and they look really cool. But like I say, at this point, I didn't really know that I couldn't actually shoot it anyway. But I just thought, you know what, let's just um, head off in the direction of the sound and uh, see what's over here. One thing is, like, each area you can kind of learn where different things are. And there's a there's a great wiki page for the hunter. And on the, on the wiki page, like, there's uh, information about every animal, every weapon, uh, what kinds of equipment you need. But there's also, like, um, fan-made uh, maps of where certain animals are on a map so you could you can look at a map and say all right so i'm hunting i don't know elk and if you look at the map it'll tell you roughly the areas to go to now they're not they are fan made so i mean they may not be 100 percent accurate but a lot of people have found that if they go there they get these kinds of animals so there's most certainly a spawn point nearby but obviously these things can change over time so anyway, what I did is I, I put a dot down. I have no idea what's over this hill. Turns out to be a barn. At this point, I'm sort of crouching my way in thinking, all right, this is quite a flat open place. And flat open places are make hunting a lot easier. But equally, they make it so that you can be spotted a lot more easily. So I'm going like super cautious. But look at this. See, take some time to kind of look around here and just make sure there's nothing in your face before you start moving forward. Also, you, if you press the X key, then you can continue walking one direction and look in a different direction, a bit like you can in Armour 2. So if you do play this game, uh, the X key lets you look around freely. Uh, press it again to, to re-lock. And the Q key is, a, which is something that Armour and Daisy never had which is like an auto walk, right? Brilliantly useful. Press the Q key and it'll walk for you and then press the X key and look around. Fantastically useful. Now, what I wasn't expecting, which is about to happen shortly, I was thinking to myself, all right, they've probably gone past the house there. They've probably gone uh, towards the trees. But then what happens next, I wasn't ready for. So yeah, probably behind the house there, yeah? Keep going this way, probably moving forward, going in my direction. Or maybe they're not. Maybe they're actually walking towards us right now on the hill. 
Like, okay, I need to take a shot because if they see me, I don't even have a chance to look for the mail because if these guys see me, they're just going to scatter. Boom. Instant kill. That's more like it. Insta drop. But yeah, all the others scatter straight away. You've no chance of getting the others. I suppose you could wait for them to line up and try for a collateral, but I don't know if that works or not. So you walk over and uh, scan it. And look at that. The round went right through it. So the harvest value is like 100. It's maximum harvest value. Instant drop. Fantastic. That is exactly how it should be. If you can get that, you've done really well. But yeah, I get some points. I get the kill. Uh, that then goes against my account. It helps me to level up um, against these guys. And then, obviously, you know, it'll unlock the male version, which has all the massive handlers. The Hunter actually has a new expansion pack coming soon, which is why I decided to try and, you know, get back into it again, because they've got new animals, some new uh, areas to play in. Like I say, the only downside to this game is the is the way that you have to get these licenses to shoot things. Uh, it's free to play, but you pretty much can't shoot very much unless you get a license, which is slightly annoying. They need to change that. But once you get into it, it's actually a really, um, it's a really interesting game. This is just... <laughs> My guy's strong, that's all I'm saying. My guy's super strong. He, he can just pick things up and throw them around. There's me in my uh, magnificent ghillie suit. Move yourself over, crouch down, rotate, and you can put a different weapon in your hand as well. So, Strike the pose is what you can do. Get yourself zoomed in. Make sure the shot is good, because you only get one try at this, that's the thing. You know, if you mess this shot up, it, as soon as you do it, boom, it's gone. Look at that. So you can go, do I want that? I'm thinking, nah, let's zoom in a little bit more. That's what you want. Zoom right in like that. And I think that is what we'll take. That is why we're going to leave it there. Uh, I will make another Hunter video um, pretty soon, but I hope you enjoyed that. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. Until next time, take care. Happy hunting.